Well, here it is. I picked this up yesterday at uh, Plata Compania or the record company, which, uh, well, it used to be a chain of Norwegian record shops. Uh, their presence is mostly online these days. And there's only one physical shop left in Norway and that's not far from where I live. So I actually went to the shop and and asked them to set uh, this one aside for, uh, for me. You never know how many they, they end up getting in store. And I'm still missing four Jethro Tull uh, of uh, these boxes. Because I was too slow back in the day. So here's that, here's the bad boy. <laughs> Jethro Tull. Broad sword. The 40th, 40th anniversary monster edition. The original album, Associated Recordings, and 1982 German concert performances, mixed to stereo and surround sound by Steve Wilson. Hundred and sixty four page book, wow. And I, I think this must no, this must be, this is the the biggest one yet. You can see all the DVDs in here as well. So let's open this up and see what we get. I'll just do this off camera so no one gets any scary scenes in their minds. No stickers on this. found hmm. oh yeah so it's kind of a protection because there's a disc in here as well this is DVD 2 associated recordings CD1 original album plus uh, associated recordings. This is only associated recordings. Again, mixed by Steve Wilson. Uh, 1981 Maison Rouge demo recordings, 1981 master mixes, 1982 rough mixes, and radio advert. Maison Rouge, the Red House. And this was the DVD. Jethro Tull broadsword. So 
this content credits from the original album. More content live in Germany. Here's the man himself. Looks like Jethro Tull was caught in a Doctor Who episode. And of course this is 1983. But they're not looking exactly with the times. I suppose that is a good thing. Sorry. Lots of reading material. Definitely worth it. really dived deep into the history before, during recording, the record itself, subsequent tour, very, very, I think these, I mean, these, these are really as far as CD box sets go, I, I think these are, are among, or if not the best around. And, and of course, there's the consistency. You know, how good these look, look in your bookshelf. And I, I mean, I do have quite a few of them by now. Although, as I said, even though I managed to get to die to all to rock and roll um, at a relatively fair price on eBay. Um, I've not been as lucky with uh, well, let's see, here's the ones I don't have. Uh, I don't have Aqualung, I don't have War Child. I don't have Songs from the Woods, and I don't have Heavy Horses. Now this one is, I can find on eBay and on Discogs at a relatively fair price, but the other ones, they're, you know, they're starting around, you know, to, some, of, some of them are currently selling for upwards of 200 pounds, so 200 dollars quite a lot and um, I mean thick as a brick came out again last year as a re-release and you, you are well at least I am hoping that it would um, 
the others will also get a re-release, you know, but while you're waiting for that to happen, the price, of course, for, for the uh, ones out there in the wild or on Discord keeps shooting up. I'd love to have one of those posters. Makes me think a little bit of um, the movie Jabberwocky. Terry Gilliam. So here's DVD number three. That's audio only. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. So here's CD4. That's live in Germany, part one. And we have, and I already broke something, I think. Yeah, this, this broke off. There you go. Um, live in Germany, part two. So that was CD5. And here's DVD one. Oh, let's just keep that in there. And that's again is audio only. So there was a look at not really an unboxing, but more of an unbagging of Jethro Tull's Broadsword, the 40th anniversary Monster Edition. It came out yesterday, Friday, September 1st. So um, I hope that inspired you uh, to go out and look for one yourself. Um, those of you who are already collecting, I'm sure you've already secured your copy. I'm glad I secured mine. And uh, I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed looking through this with me. And uh, now to warm up to the old CD player and, well, the DVD player, well, DVD and Blu-ray player, because uh, I think my Blu-ray Blu player is the one connected to my surround system, so we'll, we'll check that out on that. Anyway, um, have a uh, continued nice weekend, and I hope to see you again soon in another video. Take care, guys. Bye.